Assalamu alaikum. This is Rayan Arab recording for the daily reminder. It's part of humanity and it's something natural that when somebody gives you something, you take it. It's natural. Why? Because you know inside that you will give this person something in return, which will make it a give and take transaction instead of just taking without giving. For instance, your boss, he wants you to work on Thursday. And Thursday is a day off. You want to relax with your wife and your children. So for your boss to ask you to work on this day, he must give you like an overtime, a higher salary, a promotion, and etc. Right? This is with man and man. However, with Allah, it's different. You see, Allah, He loves to give and He doesn't love to take. Allah, He loves to give and He doesn't love to take. You're probably saying to yourself right now, but wait, I pray five times a day. I give sadaqah. I fast Ramadan. Isn't Allah taking my time? Isn't Allah taking my energy? Isn't Allah taking my money? And if you ask me this question, simply I will answer, no. Even when you pray, you are still taken from Allah. You are taking blessings, you are taking goodness, you are taking a relief from stress, you are taking a good life, and most importantly, you are taking Islam. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, إن الله يعطي الدنيا من يحب ومن لا يحب ولا يعطي الدين إلا لمن أحب فمن أعطاه الله الدين فقد أحبه Allah Azza wa Jal gives this dunya to who he loves and who he doesn't love but he doesn't give this deen except to who he loves so if Allah Azza wa Jal gave you this deen that means he loves you being a Muslim carrying this religion is one of the greatest things that Allah Azza wa Jal gave you because if you look around you will see some people who studied their bachelor's degree he studied his master's degree he studied his PhD he became a doctor he became a scientist he became a teacher and yet he makes sujood to a stone and he makes sujood to a man and he makes sujood to the to a mouse and you you make suju to Allah. It touches me the most when I hear brothers saying, I don't have. Allah never gave me. He gave him, but he never gave me. Why does he have and I don't have? It touches me why? Because you have your deen. You have your health. You have your wealth. You have your life. You have your wife. You have all these blessings. Instead of saying, why him and not me? Say Alhamdulillah. Say what? Alhamdulillah. Do you know Talha ibn Ubaidillah? Talha ibn Ubaidillah was a friend of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day during prayer, before prayer or after prayer, the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam asked Talha, Talha, kayfa haluk? Talha, how are you? You know what uh, Talha said? Talha said, Alhamdulillah. Talha was a very poor man. He had one thobe, a thobe with so many holes in it. The Messenger asked him, how are you? He said, Alhamdulillah. Without anything before or after, he said, Alhamdulillah. If you compare Talha to the people nowadays, your friend at work or, or at home, your brothers, your families and etc. If you ask anybody, how are you? Most of them will say, I'm being oppressed. I been working in my company for three years, but I didn't get a promotion. I want to travel to Las Vegas, but I don't know how I'm going to pay for that. I want the new Lexus, but I can't afford it. I want, I want, I want, I want, and he has, but he's not pleased. He wants more. And you ask Talha, Talha, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Talha, what do you have? He has one throw, one throw with many holes in it. So, do you know what the Messenger وسلم, did? He gave Talha his shirt. He gave Talha his shirt. Talha took the shirt, very happy. He went home, he walked inside his house. The, the, his wife was in there, she, she knew that this was the messenger's shirt. She asked him, why are you wearing the messenger's shirt? He said, Wallahi, ma qabiltahu abadan illa li ukaffan fihi ba'da mawti. I swear, I didn't accept this shirt from the messenger of Allah except so that when I die, they can wrap me up in it. حتى إذا جاء الملكان ليسألوني في القبر من الرجل الذي بعث فيكم أقول هو صاحب القميص الذي أرتدي. So that when the angels come and ask me in the grave, who was the man that was sent to you? I can say he is the owner of the shirt that I am wearing. طلع من عبيد الله. Read about him. These are the people you want to be like. These are the role models. These kind of people who died with this kind of belief and this kind of faith. They are the role models. So. You should be pleased with all these things that you have and say Alhamdulillah. Why? Because you have everything and you know what the word happiness is. Other people don't know what happiness is. Plus, you have your health and your wealth. Now it's Ramadan and you are allowed to fast. You are allowed to pay uh, zakah and sadaqah. You are allowed to pray Qiyam al -Layl. Other people are not allowed to do that. Some people are in the hospital, in their, in their bed, in the hospital, lying down, wishing that they could pray two rak'ahs, but you can. Some people are wishing they can fast only one day, but you can. So you should be pleased with all these things that you have and say Alhamdulillah because you know what the true meaning of happiness is. You know Dale Carnegie? 
Dale Carnegie was a man who didn't know what happiness means. Dale Carnegie was a writer, an American writer. He wrote so many books. One day he wrote a book about happiness and he published so many millions. After he published this book, do you know what Dale Carnegie, Dale Carnegie did? He committed suicide. Do you know why? Because he didn't find happiness. Do you know why he didn't find happiness? Because he didn't have that connection with the Creator. Because if you don't have that connection with the Creator, you will never find happiness. But if you have that connection with the Creator, you will be happy. And if you thank the Creator, your happiness or the happiness will last. The happiness will last. So be pleased with all these things that you have and say Alhamdulillah. And make sure that you do the best you can in this Ramadan and the other months after to get close to Allah and to always be grateful. I now come to conclusion and I say, Thanking Allah is not based on what you don't have. It's based on what you do have. So thank Him for what you do have and you will realize that you have everything. If you thank Him for what you do have, you will realize that you have everything. Jazakumullahu khairan. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum.